Boris and the Dark Survival. Although it is the worst of the three mainline Benny games, it is still a game that I hold very close to my heart. And in this video, I thought it'd be fun to 100% the game, since I've already done it once before on a different platform. Boris and the Dark Survival is basically a dungeon crawler, and every level works like this. You need to find six items scattered throughout the randomly generated floor, while watching out for the Ink Demon or other monsters that may lurk within the studio. <laughs> while you search, you can also search lockers, toilets, and the corpses of your friends. Alright, kind of fucked, but whatever. To unlock various other collectibles that open the paths to new characters, villains, and endings. So, if this sounds enticing to you, then feel free to join me as I 100% Boris in the Dark Survival. Once there was a wolf. Living in a very dangerous world. Surviving on anything he could find. And fearing the ink demon that stalked his every move. To 100% this game, basically all I gotta do is grab these seven studio scraps. I gotta collect all of these safe house tunes. And all these steps as well. I find these by like searching toilets and stuff. Safe house tunes and studio scraps I can find by looking at lockers. I also gotta collect every playable character. Um, and I don't have to use these things at all. These boxes, they don't do anything. The Meatly just recently put out a tweet saying, No, I haven't forgotten with a picture of those boxes, so... Hopefully they'll amount to something eventually, but... For now, we're just gonna have to keep on going. I have to collect these six fuses and then play the mini-game. Gotta beat Wally's score of 15. Uh, I gotta collect these tapes. These five tapes. And then collect a safe house key to get that ending. Um, I gotta collect these five padlock keys. Hello. Why is that one special? What's it say? Of course, the one the Al Alice Angel special. What does it say? I'm about to blow. I'm about to blow. I'm about to what blow. Do <laughs> no, it says as above, so below. <laughs> I thought that said I'm about to blow. <laughs> That's why that one's special. <laughs> Two, and if I walk in here, you'll see I need to collect four candles. That unlocks Sammy Lawrence. That's that's what that is. So yeah, quite a bit to do. Got our work cut out for us, but we'll be fine. So if we take this elevator, we'll descend into the first level of the game. So on the left here, you can see I've got to grab those six items to, and then get back to the elevator to beat the level. And the ink demon should be hunting me down the entire time. I'm going to try and edit this as little as possible so you can get a basic idea of how a level will work in this game. And then I'm going to edit a lot more later because this game can be, well, can be, it is quite repetitive. Oh, safe house tape already. That's convenient. So that's only one that we, okay, okay. Oh, a lost paper. Uh, I think, I don't know how many of those I have to collect, but that's one. Um, if we collect enough of those, we can unlock the lost one. Eventually, after working my way through the maze of rooms, searching through toilets and lockers and finding as many items as I could find, I began to run into the ink demon. Oh shit. Okay, come on, Bendy. Yeah. Okay, ring around the rosy. Pocket full of posies into the miracle station. Ah, ah fucker. Somebody hasn't learned from chapter three. <laughs> Stupid. Right, I've left this spoon out here for last, so when I grab it, Benny will start chasing me. And that's why I left it for last, so I can just get into the elevator without having to worry about the ink demon. Or really any other monster that I might run into down here. Alright, yep, dump everything in that chest. And bam, that's a basic Boris in the Dark survival level. And if I want to find more stuff, I just gotta get back to the grind. Uh, yeah, this'll take a while. So here's my beef with this whole chip thing. They're out of here. For the rest of day two, I mostly just tried to search lockers and find items, then hide from the ink demon whenever he came by. Day three was a pretty good day, though. I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. Why aren't I looking? Now Bendy's after me. But I did manage to find some dance blueprints, and I even found my favorite bone! Fuck yes! 
Oh, I did have to fight for it, though. I had to break Bendy's kneecaps a little bit. Check this maneuver out. Ooh. Damn. Fucking hell, man. Some real Scooby-Doo shenanigans ensued on day four, with me sneaking past Bendy right here, and then searching this locker when he comes up behind me. Check out this maneuver. This maneuver is insane. Baiting him and just ducking around him. Real football strategies there. And this entire Bendy chase right here. Here, I'm on, I'm on half sprint, all right? And there's no, not a miracle station in sight. But I'm not giving up, all right? I'm going to walk over, I'm going to grab this bone, and I'm going to duke him like that. And I'm going to sprint all the way back to the little miracle station at the elevator room. Because I've got nowhere else to go. So here I am sprinting. And I'm trying to get as much distance as I can so I can duck into a bacon suit room. Squeeze out like that, and success. Get dunked on, Bendy. Here, I could have gone back to the elevator room, and I probably should have, but I searched one last locker and found a Sammy Lawrence candle, and that is huge. Another must to report on day five, but I did manage to pull this, again, Scooby-Doo shenanigans with Bendy. I heard him coming, so I just snuck around him behind the wall like that. Pretty sneaky. And I also found another odd fuse. So, you know, progress, progress. It was here I decided to take a break so I could show off what I had collected so far. When, I didn't know yet, my, my microphone was muted, so you can't actually hear what I'm saying at this point. Uh, but these are the damn steps I've gathered. That's the toe tapper. Oh no, that's, that's the, yeah, it's the toe tapper. And that's the, that's the base one. That's the studio soft shoe. And that's the toe tapper. The toe tapper was like my second favorite, I remember saying. Yeah, there he <laughs> That one's my second favorite because it reminds me of Pennywise. So far, I collected two out of seven studio scraps. Uh, and nothing else really so far. Oh, oh, and a Mila safe house tape, actually. We'll go show that to you now. I don't know why I'm even recording this, but I don't know what else to do. Please, whoever you may be, I need your help. My name is Mila. Several days ago, I got lost down in this terrible place. There are monsters here. Things I can't even describe. They're all trying to kill me. I can hear them outside. Please look for my messages. Please come find me. So here's where the weird starts. I was mopping up some of Mr. Connor's spilled ink in that little room he calls a laboratory. He can call the laboratory all he wants, but it used to be the employee coat closet. Anyway, there it was mopping. But that puddle, I'm telling you, it kept moving this way and that way like it had the smarts or something. If these messes keep being like this, I'm out of here. Day 6 brought us some more good tidings with a new safe house tape and also a another lost paper. Add that to collection. One little bit closer to getting that lost one. My father was a butcher. Rest his soul. My mother and I had only each other while I was growing up. She taught me how to be resilient, strong. But now, I am afraid. Afraid of that demon outside my door. I saw so many things dismembered in my father's butcher shop. Having images of myself ending up as they did, their bodies broken and pulled apart. Please, please come find me. Day seven was a really good day, despite the fact that Bendy almost caught me shitting here. <laughs> Quite awkward, let me just walk out of there. I also managed to find a safe house tape, another one lying in a dead forest, and I even managed to find a padlock key and a dance blueprint. Today has been a really good day all around. If there's one loose bolt around here, we're gonna have a whole mess of trouble. And wouldn't you know it, that Wally guy has one loose bolt. He keeps the floors clean, he says. He didn't sign on for no science project. All I know is someone needs to keep these pipes maintained. And it can't be a slacker. Longer, I can stay alive. I like to pretend someone is coming for me, 
At any moment, someone will open this door and save me from this suffering. If a hero exists, no matter what size or shape they may take, now is the time. Please come find me. Day 8 started off well. I managed to find this lost paper right off rib and unlock the lost one character. I even managed to find this inky heart and triggered the projectionist. But I got cornered and, uh, well, flew a bit too close to the sun trying to get around bending here. However, it wasn't all bad. I got the opportunity to go back and play again as the lost one and show you exactly why I don't play as him. And as you'll notice in the footage, his running speed is quite quick. I think he's quicker than Boris, but his walking speed is just so slow. This basically means if I want to make any significant progress, I have to run everywhere. And as you can see, that takes a toll on, bake on my bacon soup or my sprint. Uh... <clears throat> He's just not fun to play as, really. Apart from that, though, Day 8 brought us our last dance blueprint, if I'm not mistaken. And this is my personal favorite one. I'm going to show you what it is right about now. After I show you that we got another safe house tape here. And I completely forget about this one for a while. So just, just, you'll see it eventually. Don't worry. Don't worry. Stop it! Stop, Jenny! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! My third attempt of day eight brought us to a projectionist level. And this is this is what I meant when I said that this game kind of has boss fights. It's, it's not really, you don't really fight them. You just get thrown into unique environments with unique enemies, really. The projectionist works just slightly differently from Bendy. Although his running speed is exactly the same, his field of view is quite different. So if you're caught anywhere in the projectionist's light, he will instantly start chasing you down and will not rest. I mean, Bendy wouldn't either, but you know what I mean. And I really am sorry that my microphone is muted here, but that's just my stupidity. What else am I going to do except try and make up for it? Uh, but yeah, uh, at this point the projection is starting chasing me. You may have noticed a sick remix of the Projectionist's Chapter 3 chase theme from the original Bendy and the Ink Machine. And, uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's badass. I'm pretty sure this remix is called Real Fear. Which is a very clever pun. Good job, Meatly. Do you want a little pat on the back? Congratulations. Hooray, hooray. You want a little kiss on the forehead? There you go. Hooray. Good job, Meatly. I'm kidding. I, that's a great pun. Anyway, apart from that, nothing else really happened, and I just sort of grabbed the six ink hearts and went to the elevator. Now I'm going to show you why it's my favorite dance step, this last one. The wild boy. Fuck yeah, Boris, get cheeky with it, dude! He fucking busts a move like that, it's insane. Okay, so let's see, what else happened on day 9? Uh, so I had the, had the, found a candle, yeah, yeah, a candle, and then, uh, uh, fucking, nothing really, eh? Nothing. Alright, yep, yeah, uh, yeah, no, nothing else happened that though. Good news! My microphone is back on from this point on, and I immediately get to yapping. Alright, so I wasn't recording, but I played around, and... Shut the I fuck up! One time I, uh... 
found Bendy just chilling in that room right there. I was like, where is he? And then he started, the chase was kicked in. And then I looked and he was trapped in this room. He couldn't move. Aha. Candle, I think. Yeah, let's go. Sooner rather than later. Aha. New safe house tune. Let's go. Hey, and a safe house tape. Let's go. We're finding everything right now. Day 11 was proving to be a good day, but the day was going to get even better when I saw this. What is he doing? Is he stuck? Is he stuck? He's stuck! My god, I don't think Bendy has an idle animation. He could sense me. I see him do a freaking 180 just then. It's going to make this difficult. Come here, Bendy. I gotta find a little miracle station before I run out of bacon soup. Ah, shit. This might be it. Shit. That's all, folks. That's all she wrote. Went the wrong way. Ah, uh, that's all, folks. Oh, snake. Try to serpentine him a bit. Bad luck. Sammy's doodle. I did grab a fourth one. I am not one to lie. I don't like when people lie to me. My mother always told me, honesty, Mila. Always honesty. Be bright and, and smile wide. Good things will come. But I can see the world is a cruel place. I want to shine, but it's so dark. Hope is fading down here. The monsters are closing in. Please come find me. And then the fifth one. There isn't much time. If you found my messages, here is my last one. So this is my final plea. If anyone is out there, if there's anything good left in this world, look for my hidden key and then find my door. Please come find me before it's too late. Sincerely, Mila. Okay, Miller, if you wanted me to find you this entire time, why didn't you mention the door was locked until just now? Hmm? Didn't think that through, did you? Just one more padlock here, and we can unlock that. Yeah, just one more candle and Sammy's mask. Um, four more safe house scraps. Three, two more, three more songs? Three more songs, I think. Four more fuses. One more key, and then two more keys. Miller's key and the padlock key. That's all we need. Day 11. Again. Because it's Happy Death Day. Not Groundhog Day. Happy Death Day. And I specify that because it repeats every time we die. Is that the projectionist? The projectionist is here. That's not Bendy. Okay. It's a little miracle station right there. Yeah, it's a projectionist. I found the key. Okay, let's go. <laughs> What's that? An odd fuse. Three more odd fuses and we'll be good to go. It's down here, Norman. Hey, I found the last candle too. As in Boris's movement doesn't quite sync up with his animation. So it kind of looks like he's just gliding on the ground. Hey, new safe house scrap. That makes three more that we need, I think. All right, let's unlock this room then, eh? Boris found the poor soul who was trapped in the darkness. But Miller was alive. She was in truth a twisted angel named Alice, luring Boris to his doom. So Boris ran. Yep, Mila was a lie. It was actually Alice Angel all along. <laughs> now we're in the Alice Angel boss fight. Just 
She's got to find the supplies and get lost. Now, Alice is scary because Alice is the fastest character. She's faster than Bendy and Norman. Okay, I can hear you can hear her humming though, so. So I can tell where she is. She's coming this way. Alice is fast. She can keep pace with Boris while he's running, and Boris is the fastest character. Oh, I mean, I mean the, the, the lost one, but like. Susie! Alice! Oh, yeah, that too. Instead of having Bendy's little ink effect, she's got a massive halo around her. She walks pretty slowly, I'm pretty sure, but her running speed is insane. I think the lost one might be able to outrun her, but considering how slow he walks, it doesn't really matter, does it? You'd think. Hey, there we go, we've unlocked Sammy. You'd think Alice wouldn't be fooled by the mask, but, I mean, by the, um, by the little miracle stations, but no, she's fooled as well. Gameplay reasons, I'm guessing. Have I ever told you what fans think it, Boris is? Who fans think Boris? Who? Fuck. <clears throat> Me after the lobotomy. Um, did I ever tell you what fans think Boris is? Like, okay, fans... The general speculation is that fans initially thought that Boris is actually Wally Franks. But... Wally is implied to have left the studio intact. So... Can't have been Wally, so who was it? Well... Now... The general consensus is that this is actually Buddy from the books. Because... Henry refers to Boris as Buddy in his writing. Or when speaking to Boris, he refers to him as Buddy. And he's also called, this, this specific version of Boris is also called Buddy Boris, according to the Buddy Boris Railway. So the general consensus is that this is probably Buddy, especially considering that Buddy, at the end of the Dreams Come to Life book, turns into a Boris. Oh, oh god, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's definitely not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Oh, Alice, fuck. Oh, fuck, oh my god, I had my keys on the fucking... I had my fingers on the fucking ESDF keys, not the WASD keys. What is wrong with me? I need to prove my superiority over Alice. Okay, there she goes. You'd think she wouldn't be fooled, but she is. Shit, 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 shit. Run, Boris! She's bloody fast. Alice does not skip leg day. Run, Boris, run! See ya, Alice. There we go. Just gotta interact with this now. Sammy's doodle. There we go. And now Sammy Lawrence is unlocked. Alright, so now we've got Alice Angel unlocked. We just gotta keep grinding until we get everything else. I think I just need to search lockers now. Oh, there we go. Found something. Padlock key. Alright, that's the last padlock key then. Bendy Fortnite. Hey, safe house scrap. We need two more after that. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for safe house tunes and the safe house scrap. And I think that's it now. Ah, oh, damn it, Norman. All right, bring it on then. Duped, duped, duped. Run, Boris, run. This music is fucking great, though. Not the the ascending strings. That's such a nice touch. I'm just gonna grab the wrench and make a break for it. Come on, Norman. And duped. 
Run to the elevator, Boris. Awesome. Too easy, Norman. Too easy. Oh, we've also got to find the odd fuses. I forgot about those. Here we go. Found all the padlock keys. Yeah, that's right. Another bloody butcher gang of three. Uh, I hate the Butcher Gang. They're my least favorite enemies in this game. Because they're all exactly like Bendy, but there's three of them. So they can really easily corner you. Like, ridiculously easily corner you. So let's just hope that we don't run into them. Alright, here's what it's like to play as Sammy. You'll notice that I'm not sprinting, and that's because I can't. Ah, oh, speaking of the Butcher Gang, I'm just gonna dip. You can teleport, though. But it costs bacon soup. But I th and you can only but you can only teleport by running up to these things, and I think it's randomised, so it's not really too helpful. Can come and clutch, but eh, yeah, it typically doesn't. Also, now I have no clue where I am. It also makes no. I mean, none of the other playable characters make sense. Why am I playing a Sammy? Why is Sammy helping this random Boris grab all this shit? See ya, see ya, striker. On the bright side, they're all putting me right next to bacon soup. That's pretty convenient. Oh, damn it. They also don't have any, like, little fields around them. Like every other character. You can only find... Oh! Tune. You have to have headphones in if you want to find where they are. At least there's a bone in the main room. I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. Walks. Run, Sammy. I can't. He's just gonna... Casually stroll as far What? Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm fast in the butcher gang. But they can still they're still really good at cornering you though, so balances out. Shit. Hey Piper. Don't pipe me, please. Hey striker. Don't strike me, please. Shit. What'd I just say? Where am I now? Back in this bloody hallway. I don't want to be here. I'm just going to teleport away. Goodbye. You can only teleport four times before you run out of bacon soup, I'm pretty sure. Piper, no. Piper, no. Piper, no. Yeah, keep, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going that way. I'll go this way. We'll just keep on our merry way. Alright? Here you go, Sammy. You're in your territory now. You should be familiar with this. Shit. Run! Can I go this way? No, why is it go this way, actually? Oh shit! Run, Sammy! Run, Sammy! E. Hmm. Shit! Who just saw me then? Oh, Piper. <sighs> oh shit! Oh, shit. Get out of here! Get out of here! Nice. Ah, fucking hell, Fisher! Grab the bone. Get to the elevator. Hey, there we go. Take that, Butcher Gang. That is the second time I've escaped from you today. So that really worked out. I got really lucky that time. Uh, but usually Sammy's ass. So I'm just I'm going to change back into Boris. We d oh, yes. We're getting Hellfire Follows. This one's my favorite. Oh, shit. Alice. Very good reason for that, Alice. So the machine must endure. Yeah. Boris must endure. Watch out, here comes the butcher gang. Get some distance, Boris. Shit. Yeah. Ah, shit. That's great. That's good. I'm fine with this. Really, I am. See how they can corner you like that? You take one wrong turn and... The last thing I need is Piper to come showing up and ramming me. Oh, crap. Speak of the devil. <laughs> God damn it, Piper. As if on schedule. Right on cue. Didn't know we rehearsed this. Only found two stuff so far. Two things. Two stuff. I speak English. I great at English. Grammar is specialty. Oh, FNAF in real time. In exclusive clip. Let's go. I love FNAF in real time. Oh, speaking of Final Fantasy Freddy, did you guys hear about that uh, Into the Pit game? Making a 
making a game based on the books. If they were ever going to make a game based on the books, I assume they would have done the Silver Eye trilogy. I like that trilogy. I don't like Fazbear Frights. Fazbear Frights is shit, <laughs> to be honest. And I'm allowed to talk. I read all of them. Every single fucking one. They were, they were ass. They were ass. I don't think I actually read all of them. I think I just... I think I skipped a couple. I don't think... I, I definitely didn't read Felix the Shark, I'll tell you that much. Of the trilogy? Of the series. That was sketchy, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. God damn, what is this? Get out of here. All of them are gathered in one spot. You have all been called here. Into a labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection and misfortune. A labyrinth with no exit. A maze with no prize. You don't even realize that you are trapped. Your lust for blood has driven you in endless circles, chasing the cries of children in some unseen chamber, always seeming so near, yet somehow out of reach. But you will never find them. None of you will. This is where your story ends. Shit. Fuck. Okay. Oh, strike, I know! Oh, fish is gonna be here, isn't he? God damn it. Well, that worked itself out great, didn't it? It's quite repetitive. And I'm not gonna be able to progress if Fisher won't fuck off. This is why your mother abandoned you at birth. Oh, for fuck's sake, Piper. Leave me alone. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, hello. A hey, safe house tune. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, it's Bendy. Hey, Bendy. I haven't seen you for a while. Kind of glad to see the Ink Demon again. He is the easiest character to deal with in this game. I know Sammy's a fan favorite, but I think it would have been better if, Sam if you could... Uh oh, not fuse. I think it would be more interesting if Sammy was a character you ran away from and he could, like, teleport and stuff. I think that would be more interesting, to be honest. But I understand there, was a there would have only been two playable characters otherwise, and one is just... Boris, and then the other one is just Boris, but slower. Shadow. It's me, the devil. I'm here to convince you to do sin. Come with me. Steal candy from babies and small businesses. I'm not talking about Walmart. One more turn. I haven't helped had this one yet. And, alright. Two more safe house scraps. One more turn and two more fuses. Who was that? Oh, it's the fucking butcher gang again, isn't it? I can hear him. I can hear him. <coughs> butcher gang racism is very real in this society. Oh, hello. A new tune. That's all of them. Butcher gang racism is real. They say way more than just. <coughs> that's not the only thing they say. And to say that that's the only thing they say is extremely racist. And also, ex oh, oh wait, no, no, mind. It's not the butcher gang. It's Bendy. Metal Gear Boris. Rules of nature. And they run when the sun comes up, with their lives on the line. I lie. Forward, no choice. Gotta follow the laws of the wild. Ah, oh, shit. That's not good. Um. I'm in a spot of trouble right now. Run, Boris, run! Try and get as much distance as I can from Bendy. Take a sip of bacon soup and then dupe him. That's the plan. He does not- I will give him this. He does not give up that chase easily, does he? That's the first time I've heard the entire theme all the way through. Usually I've either died or gotten caught before then. You know, I am great at rhythm games. <laughs> hey there, devil. By the way, what's your name? I feel like that's quite obvious from uh, Christianity and uh, the like. I love Snapcube's fan dubs. They're fucking great. All right, let's go listen to the last tune. Big bendy business. This shit is not gas. This shit is ass. You know, there is one more character we haven't encountered yet. Um, but he's extremely rare. The Lost One used to be extre an extremely rare occurrence, like playing as a Lost One. But then they made him an actual character, a playable character you can select, and I think that was the way to go. Oh, hello there. There's a tape player there. So he's 
Hulk is smart. Of course you are, buddy. I'm not saying you're stupid. Hulk has PhD. What? Hulk is a nuclear physicist in Hulk's spare time. This game is not gas. This game is quite ass. And I will play through it all so that you never have to. Maybe I should maybe I should get some money on the side recording erotic audios. <laughs> ah, fuck's sake. Bendy, no. Do you want me to stop calling you Bendy? Do you want me to start calling you the Ink Demon? Ink Demon. Bendy, Ink Demon. I mean, please. Please don't do this. Oh, God. It's going to be close. Oh, shit. Got to get quite close. Ooh. Wow. That was scary. And grab that. And get the fuck out of here. Too easy. Too easy. Hey, here's my old desk. Oh, I've wasted so much time in this chair. This this entire floor was tiny as hell. Where was Bendy? He wasn't here. He straight up was not here. The room was just that tiny. Yes. Safe house scrap. Just two more things. One more fuse and one more safe house scrap. And then we're home fucking free. Too easy. It's too easy. I've got this game down to a fucking science at this point. I've got it down to a science. I really, really doubt it, but I really want to see if I can find that secret character before I finish 100%ing the game. Because it's extremely rare. It's extremely rare, so I'm not going to grind for it. I'm just going to have to hope against hope that we run into it, which we most definitely won't. But, you know, a boy can dream. And that's the last safe house crap. <laughs> okay. Okay. Awesome. I feel like sprinting mechanics in a lot of game are in a lot of games are really shallow. I feel like sprinting mechanics could be expanded upon. They kind of an un they kind of have untapped potential. Oh, what are the goddamn chances? God damn it, this is not good. This is not good. This, this is it. Ugh, fuck off. What are the chances you could have gone anywhere, but you chose, out of literally everywhere in the goddamn studio, you, you chose to come to level E and kick my ass? How many levels does the studio have? It has to be at least 500. Like, that stuff goes down so far, I'm pretty sure they unearth dinosaur fossils. It's insanity. Boris has got a skedaddly ass run. I guess it shouldn't be surprising, considering he is literally a cartoon character. Dude. Oh, fuck. Off oh, strike. You know what? I already searched all the damn places anyway. I'm more interested in the items not getting far. There's no... Uh, as far as I know, there's really no benefit to just... Trying to go for as long as you can. Because it only gets harder the longer you go for. It doesn't even... And it doesn't increase your chances of finding stuff to go for longer. Your chances remain exactly the same as far as I'm aware. It just gets harder to find stuff because enemies get more tricky. They start getting a bit smarter with where they choose to run to. Bendy, I hear you. A little birdie whispered in my ear. He told me to tell you to fuck off. You know, why can't they find you when you're in Little Miracle Stations? Even in Dark Revival, Little Miracle Stations are the most... Well, are the best hiding spot in the game. Any enemies who are chasing you will immediately give up the chase if you get in a Little, mir little Miracle Station. It's the only hiding spot you can use we can actually escape from them. I was too busy mansplaining little miracle stations that I completely missed. Where is he going? He's trying to find the last fucking reel. That's what he's doing. Yes! You know what I found? The last odd fuse. I'm out of here. I'm I'm skedaddling, Bendy. Take a good look. Take a long look at my face, because you're not gonna see it again. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, now this is the most important step in this part of the game. I have to set it to that. Just trust me. I have to set it to that. It's the best one. It's the most bearable one. Because what I'm about to do is the most difficult thing in this game. Just bear with me. Alright, so I gotta knock those things. It's like, it's like, it's like... Brick breaker? Uh, oh. But worse. Because you gotta hit these things. You gotta get 15 in a row. But luckily, 
I am a. I am suffering from severe bendy brain rot. Oh, you're kidding me! Oh my god, that sucks. <laughs> Gotta get another 15 points now. Come on, hit the fucking thing. Hit the fucking thing. Hit the fucking. There we go. Oh, there we go. Hit, oh, hit the fucking thing. Hit the. Kick the bloody ball. Kick the bloody ball. Oh, come on. Oh, you little shit. It knew. It knew what it was doing with that one. Oh, fuck off! Oh, my god! This is like that one mini game in Kirby that's just really annoying, but like you just, you gotta do it if you wanna 100% the game. This is the final boss of Boris the Dark Survival. This is the Dark Souls of, of, of Atari Breakout Games. Boss of the Dark Survival, final boss and ending. There we go. Alright, done. Yes, I'm done. Not, not putting up with that shit anymore. The final secret in this game is an audio log from Joey Drew himself begging Nathan Arch for money. Which actually sets up the events of Dark Revival pretty well. That should be everything. So now I've only got one thing left to do. Suddenly. Boris saw a glimpse of the man he used to be. And then it was gone.